Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to share a comparison of two bags. The first one is from Go For Good, it's their Sarah bag. And the other one is from Portland Leather Good, it is their toaster bag. So as you can see, both of them are camera style bags, which are quite popular and easy to style, very functional, fix the tongue. These two seem to be extremely similar um, on the website based on dimensions, all that. And I will do a more in-depth comparison. I will talk about the price, the design, the size, the functionality, all the details. So first, let me start with the price. The Pro Leather Goods one has price starting from $76, which they're almost perfect. And the regular line, is the premium line is about $89. Uh, of course, you will have to pay uh, shipping and taxes on top of this. And for Go Force Goods, the starting price is $175. And if you want a limited edition color, which this one, turquoise, is a limited edition color, you will pay a little bit extra than if you need a pocket or change the strap color that will be additional cost as well so just keep that in mind from the price point i would definitely say um the poor and leather goods one is more affordable now let me talk about the size so if you check the website these two has extremely similar size or dimensions for poor and leather goods on the website it actually says the length is nine and um, a quarter inches and tall is six inches and width is two and a half inches for go for good it's nine inches length six inches height and three inches width so the only difference uh, on the website it will be the width and a little bit length however when i actually got them side by side you can clearly see the Go For Scoots one appear to be taller and longer. I think the reason is this bag, it, the leather is so soft and because how it's made, it gives more stretch. So it appears it's much larger than the Go For Scoots, than the Portland Leather Goods one. The Portland Leather Goods one is more structured. So you, you will not see uh, the soft leather kind of gives a little bit more length or height but this one is so soft so that's the size difference really even on the paper on the like the website they may seem extremely similar in reality i would say the go for goods definitely feels larger now let's talk about the um the function or the design of the two bags the Pro Leather Goods one come with an outside pocket and you don't need any, there's no customization allowed. Outside pocket and go for goods, you can add outside pocket for additional charge. There's no back pocket for Pro Leather Goods. I added a back pocket for um, go for goods, Sarah. The inside, the Pro Leather Goods came with a pocket on the back side. Whereas the Go Force Goods one does not come with a pocket, but you can add if you want. For the construction, it is exactly the same besides the pocket difference. The one difference I want to point out is the strap. The Pro Leather Goods one, you can see the strap is not detachable. So if you're really tall or if you're on the petite side, you may feel like the strap lens is not ideal for you and you cannot switch that out. On the other hand, the uh, Go For Scoots one is detachable. So if you don't like the strap, you think it's too long, too short, you can always switch out for your own mm. strap. And on the side, how the strap is attached, um, I personally like the look of the uh, Poor leather goods one better, and on the side by side by side, you can clearly see the Go For School goods. The Sarah looks taller, even though on the website they are the same height, but it is definitely slightly wider and it get, fits more because of soft leather. I personally like the look of the toaster slightly better, just because I'm not. 
I, I don't like how this look. I think both of them uh, seems well made. I'm not worried about the strap come off or the back rib, anything. It's just purely by the design. I prefer a more sleek look versus a more rusty look. Uh, in terms of what fits inside, uh, let me show you what's in fits inside my toaster and you already know this bag is bigger so anything can fit into the toaster can easily fit into the go force goods one i can fit a bottle of water this is the, the regular bottle of water 16.9 fluid ounce you can get and it actually fits inside the toaster bag so right now my bag is fully packed i show you what's inside the bottle of water uh, a long wall, uh, not a long, but a compact wallet. It's relatively big for me. Car case, brush, dental floss, a pack of tissue, my keys, and uh, lipstick. So. If I take the water out, you can see there's so much more space. You can put sunglasses, you can put hand sanitizer, you can put, you can definitely fit a compact, you can definitely fit a few more items. And let me show you how they look side by side. So the issue I have with camera bag is they, ten they tend to do this. <laughs> So for the toaster, this color is actually called electric blue. Uh, direct, in direct sunlight, it looks a little bit more blue, but now I'm indoor and it's dark outside, so it doesn't look that blue. Here is how it looks on shoulder. So both of the bag I actually currently at the shortest setting. And you can see the Go For It's Good one actually sits slightly higher. So it's what I prefer for the strap lens. I just prefer in general slightly higher. So my proportion will look better. I have a long torso. And if I wear it crossbody, that's how it looks. And this one is definitely bigger oh, let me quickly summarize <clears throat> my comparison first price point I would say the toaster bag is definitely more affordable and especially after you consider all the customization um, that's already built in in terms of the look or the design, they are very similar, but I do slightly prefer the Portland Leather Goods one. In, uh, in terms of the color selection, Portland Leather Goods does offer a larger selection of colors and uh, both pebble and smooth leather. GoForce Goods also carry um, a decent amount of color selection, but they don't introduce new colors every week or every week or so. In terms of the weight, I would say this Portland Leather Goods is slightly lighter. It depends on your preference. You may think um, a lighter weight bag is better, especially if you tend to carry a lot. So I have shared all the pros, what I like about Portland Leather Goods toaster. Now let me tell you what I like about the Go Force Goods one. So first of all, the leather is amazing. Um, I have to admit the leather quality is better. It is a much thicker leather and it just feels much nicer. However, the price point is higher. So I think the price is justified. Uh, and I'm not just comparing smooth leather with pebble leather because I had a tons of pearl leather goods pebble leather as well. So I do know what pearl leather goods leather tend to feel. Second, I like the strap is attachable so it's easier for you to switch in and out and that's what i think is good for 
the serabat. The third one is customization. You can customize the bag. You can add a front pocket, a back pocket, or an inside pocket, or no pocket. Some people don't like the pocket because the pocket may take additional space. They may not need a division. They just put pouches inside the bag. So this allows customization where the point line of goods one does not allow any customization. And what I also like or I want to point out is the Go Force Goods one is made in the USA. So I'm not sure if you uh, if that matters to you. If you do want to support a local business, this they are based in Georgia. Um, so USA. So if you are want to support a local business, I want to point that out versus Portland Leather Goods is made in uh, Mexico. That also helps them to reduce the cost. So you can see the counts or not the counts, but like you can see the pros of each the bag where I think they are better, slightly better than the others. And now it's up to you to decide which bag you want to get. Depends on your preferences. Hope you find this uh, comparison video helpful and I will see you next time. Bye.